Good morning, good morning. It's the very next day and it's Monday and I have an appointment this morning afternoon and in another town and so I'm going to be going off to that and I wanted to get something put up today so I thought I'd put up last yesterday's and then um, last night some. One of the kids made cookies so you see that. I'll, I don't know if I'll use that as a thumbnail or what but and then I grape harvest, and then I did a little decorating yesterday, finally. I felt, you know, October 1st probably was a good time to go ahead and start doing that. And then I got all of this out. I'm going to use this for um, decorating uh, goodie bags and some little bells to attach. Those are fun. And so, anyway, that's my story from my very short short thing today. I'm having my coffee. This is the same coffee I was having yesterday. Well, it's the same cup I washed it. <laughs> Anyway, hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I'm going to let you go and show you what I have, just a little bit. Hi, good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra, and this is the stuff I do here. I um, do decorating and grocery hauls and shopping and cooking and all that kind of thing, and today I'm doing fall stuff. But anyway, I present to you, full disclosure, I ate one, my husband ate one, our 2023 grape haul. <laughs> he found these way in the back toward the bottom where the deer and the antelope don't play <laughs> so we have five beautiful little raisins <laughs> no they're not raisins they were good they were very tasty all right the entryway table is done this is for autumn and so the theme is pumpkin patch because that's what i have <laughs> So, uh, up here, we have some pumpkin and scarecrow and a candle. And these are uh, party light candle holders that I got at random garage sales. And these came from the grocery store. And that came from my mother, I believe. And then here's a candle holder, which usually holds a big white pillar. But I thought, for pumpkin patch, this fit the bill. And then I've got these wool balls and I usually hang across the wall but I didn't this year. I thought they looked kind of pumpkin-y. And then that's a pumpkin candle, pumpkin nutmeg, three wick. It smells really good. I won't burn it in there though. And then there in the back I've hidden some gingerbread ornaments that I made last year so that the scent comes out. And then I've got this, oh this came from um, St. Vincent de Paul. And I had no idea. Okay, I knew I had this one. And I did not know I had this one. And I did not for sure know that this one, how do you make it do it? Oh, let me, ah, knocked him right off his perch. Hold on. This is what I was trying to show. He's got a little basket, or she, I think it's a she. I don't know. No, maybe it's a he. Anyway, he's got a little basket full of goodies that opens up with a hinge. When I saw that, and before I opened it, I thought, what could be in there? You know, like maybe somebody put their treasure in there, but it's cute enough. I'm happy. So my three tier tray here, and I've got the, you know, the two of them setting together. And then more party light and a fake candle, more party light and a fake candle. This is a real candle that I won't burn here, but oh, it smells so good. I was in Safeway the other day and the lady stocking the shelves and I were both sniffing. She goes, smell this one. And I go, smell that one. <laughs> you know? So, um, then we come along here, and that's a real pumpkin. I had two, and went, one went bad, so I need to watch this really close. And then there's this, you know, fabric with, uh, you know, just fabric. <laughs> and I like this one because of the different dimension. You know, it looks like a, a sweater. And so, anyway, that is a notepad. Anyway, this is just my pumpkin patch theme. Ta-da! Oh, I have this. Let me go around. I don't want to... And here's the random mess left over. I'll go over here. Go over here. This is not done. I'm trying to decide what to go here. I'm going to continue the pumpkin patch theme here. 